Good morning, folks. A point of frustration. You should be able to see the comet coming in from below the sun here, but as we've said many times, every major CME and sun diving comet results in missing images and data delay. There are 8 hours of images missing, then we get 4 of them, and then 20 hours without an update to now. Hopefully they'll give us those images back today, especially since this thing might survive. And while SOHO gets its act together, Stereo A can see the comet from all the way behind the sun. Bottom right, coming up at the light streamer. By the way, I have a plan for 2016 to end this data embargo nonsense forever. Anyway, what do we look for with sun diving comets? Solar eruptions. And yes, that filament did release, but oh my, something else happened as well. While the focus is clearly the writhing filament of plasma, you can see the ambient magnetic fields reverberating and shaking behind it. That was due to a CME that occurred behind the limb and a bit south of the latitude of the filament that released. Whatever happened behind the limb was titanic, and its effects caused an atmospheric quake on our star for nearly an hour. We're going to watch this unfold close up to see the intensity of the field shaking, and also we'll back up I'm going to take a look at the full breadth of the reverberation itself, and an extension of ionized helium releasing out into space as well. Now, let's go ahead and analyze the eruption itself. Again, using stereo A behind the sun to see the other side, we focus in on the flash and coronal spread that occurred over on the right. The flash tells us it was a sunspot-driven solar flare and CME. So how about a bit of math? We're more than 12 Earth diameters up into the corona with the reverberating fields. The area is about 50% larger longitudinally than it is by latitude. And looking back to stereo A, it was about the same size laterally. Well, that's all we need for volume. Folks, more than a quadrillion cubic miles of solar atmosphere was utterly rocked and shaken by that eruption. Good thing it's going to miss Earth. Geez, are we just getting to this now? We're at spaceweathernews.com to find the rest of the day was very calm on our star. It's the end of the Earth-facing northern positive coronal holes as well. The Earth-facing quiet effect stifled flares in our direction once again, and the sunspots look to be in decay, with magnetism spreading and size of the umbers on the decline. Solar wind remains elevated from normal, but without major deviations from a relatively steady elevated flow, Earth's magnetic storms have dropped out, but both the K and Q indices are still showing significant disruptions. The green northern positive coronal hole is exiting, as I said, red negative southern extensions coming in next. Over on the left here in 211 angstroms, you can see the next dark patches cresting into view. Folks, we got a bit of a sad story here. Bengal tiger cub freezes to death during power outage at a zoo in Crimea. And for those who know their geography, that is well south for a tiger to be freezing to death, power or no power. Some parts of the world are hot, then there's this. The top weather story by far is Desmond. Nobody living in the affected areas of Britain has ever seen a flood like this. And the storm continues. In the United States, we're eyeing the west coast and just to the north for the big storms, which is where the earth spot and the OLR anomalies can be found right now as well. Down under... We see a convergence line to a southern low, cutting right over eastern Australia now. That's the top watches here. Folks, in case you didn't hear it yesterday, we have ordered more books, so you can now pre-order from round two. If you got in the first time, the books are expected to arrive to me on Thursday, so I'll get them out to you ASAP. This second round right now isn't due to arrive to me till December 20th, so they won't arrive to you guys until early January in all likelihood. You can get the book and all our conference videos from Pittsburgh at otf.cells.com. And speaking of a conference, students, seniors, groups, take advantage of the discounts offered for Phoenix at the end of January. Find the conference details at the link right below this video. Something about current conditions and shots of a star or something, I don't know, I can't think too well right now. I'm ticked off at Soho about the feed. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.